I have the opportunity to attend a lot of forums and a lot of events and a lot of very aspirational and informational um, convergence forums where people of, of goodwill and brilliant minds are earnestly trying to solve or the problems of the world or imagine what they can do individually and collectively. So I care about that. It's not redundant to me. It's the most important work I can do, or a part of the most important work I can do. Now, do people usually think about the problems of the world as a whole, or do you have to specialize in one particular problem to be effective? Mm. Well, I think both. I think there are most of, of the people I sit at their feet and listen to what they are saying, they have the commitment to go very deep on their thread. People who have made a commitment to health care, people who have made a commitment to malaria or cancer or water, all issues that matter and that I care about. There are people like me who I think of sort of like bees, that are, we're hardwired to cross-pollinate and cross-correlate and I think we also serve. I feel just as in service in a different way as someone who dedicates their entire life to one strand of a cancer strain. And if we respect each other and we do our right roles together, we actually are going to have the collective insight that will change the world not only in that element or that issue, but all of them. That's what's so exciting about these forums for me is I get to be in the room where the intersection of everything is happening. So would you say that your main skill is to be a kind of facilitator regardless of the technical areas that are being discussed? Yes, I actually have discovered that for me it's a level of listening. There are fundamental principles that transcend any one sector, any one issue. Um, a through line would be, for instance, communication. It doesn't matter which sector or which global issue we're talking about. The fear between people, the um, questions around ownership and safety and trust, they transcend issues, they transcend country, they transcend gender. They have their own expressions in those, but there are principles that are universal. And if you're going to be a bee, you need to pay attention to the universal patterns and put those together. Now, as one of the chief organizers of this conference, how would you say it's going so far? Mm, I am happy to answer that question because, as I mentioned, I am privileged to be in many, many, many dialogues, very small groups around the world and very large branded conferences. And they all bring a different promise and a different deliverable. But to be frank with you, more often than not, I leave with a longing that I wish we'd gone further. I wish we'd gotten more serious. I wish there'd been more substance. I wish there'd been more depth. I am really happy to tell you that just at the end of day one, I have watched us go into substance. I have watched people reach in and go to depth. The level of dialogue that I've got to drop into in the last hours has been very satisfying, and I have a high bar. Mm. So something special is happening here at Franchise for Humanity. I'm so grateful to be a part of it. Now where is it going to go from here? Is there going to be a follow-up in building on what's happened here? Yes, there is, and I, I hope there is, but we intend for there to be. The vision for this to have been a catalyst event, uh, to create hubs, to create collaboratories, to create more events like this, but not just events. The events are simply to galvanize something, to seed something, but events are not solving anything. They're just putting pieces and people together so they can go and solve th something. So I hope this is a ripple effect and that is our intention. 
Is the goal here to advance the process of collaboration itself or is it to deal with specific problems? Mm. No, I think that what we're mostly wanting to contribute is real tools, real techniques, real um, inspiration, um, and real role modeling of what it means to collaborate. We trust that the individuals, if they do their part that they're called to do, the people who want to work on water, they're going to migrate to each other. We're not holding the solutions. We're just holding a space. Now, collaboration itself is not a new concept. Are you, no. are you bringing something new to it? Well, I think that the ability to collaborate and co-create is the great challenge of our time. I believe it's the crisis, and I believe it's the breakthrough. That we all know the words, but we are young. We are young as a species to learn how to trust each other enough to go into what I believe collaboration and co-creation really is. Just because we can say it doesn't mean we know how to do it. Maybe we used to know, maybe it's an ancient memory and we're remembering, but I think it's part old village, like going back to the village, and I think it's a new skill that the crisis drivers of our time are asking us to break through our separation and barrier and ego and find our way to each other. The future is called we. And we're all, we're the only ones who can get there. Ego is pretty sturdy in most cases. Sure so is. Do you think that uh, it can be overcome? Mm. Well, they used to call that the $64,000 question. <laughs> it's probably a little more expensive today. Mm -hmm. With inflation, I don't know what the number would be. But maybe that's the question we're all gonna try and answer together. Will we or won't we? I hope we will. Okay, very good. Uh, we're about out of time, but if you have any last minute comments you would like to make uh, to our audience here, yeah. on the floor, mm. this is your opportunity mm. to impart your knowledge and wisdom <laughs> to the world. Mm. So feel free to go for mm. it. I think what I'd want to say to one or many is the future is really all of us or none of us. That's not a buzzword. It's survival, and it could be our finest hour. I'd love to be the people who held hands and made the finest hour so far in human history. And I don't think we have a choice. I think we can go off the cliff, or I think we can soar, and that it's up to us. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I want to okay. say one more thank you. This doesn't have to be for the audience, but I want it to be for Mei Lin Fung. I want to say thank you, Mei Lin for calling me when you had this opportunity. I want to thank you for the vision you've held throughout your life. I want to thank you for the generosity that you showed to me, for the ups and downs of our journey, and for standing here after with me. Thank you, Maylene. This one's from me to you. Okay. Thank you.